Warcraft Arclight Rumble. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that I know about Blizzard's release of this new mobile game and what we can expect from it when it finally does launch. There's a lot of information here to unpack, so let's dive into it. So let's start out with what actually is Warcraft Arclight Rumble and why am I excited for the game? Well, first of all, I don't know if you guys know this, but I absolutely love Clash Royale. And this game has a lot of similarities to Clash Royale being a vertical style strategy game where you have different characters or in this case minis inside of the game that you get elixir or in this case gold to utilize on the playing board. There are multiple different game modes and multiple different minis or characters inside of the game, all of which we're gonna be getting into in just a moment, but it leaves for some big excitement here knowing that there's so much possibilities because Blizzard can really pull from any element of the whole Warcraft realm and they could even pull in other titles that they are having under their umbrella of Blizzard games and put them into this one. It's really exciting. The game looks super crisp. And from the word on the street, it seems that it's gonna have a big smash when it finally hits in the mobile space on the scene. I know that I can't wait to get my hands on it. So let's read Blizzard's description of what is Arclight or delight in the Arclight. Warcraft Arclight Rumble is a mobile action strategy game set within the Warcraft universe where collectible minis come to life in battle in frantic melee skirmishes. Play in multiple modes, including single player campaign, going head to head in epic PVP battles, playing co-op and more, experience the true meaning of joyful chaos. Now that does bring us to the point that this is both a PVE and a PVP game, which for me, it just says that that is what means that equals longevity for this game in the long run on mobile. This is sounding awesome so far. So there's three different features that they're highlighting right here on the website. The first being action strategy gameplay. Warcraft Arclight Rumble brings you frantic mobile action strategy combined with meaningful progression and customization. Now it dives into the both PVE and PVP that we just mentioned. Play through epically challenging campaign maps, dungeons, and raids. Battle with your friends in co-op or against them in PVP and revel in the mayhem and then assemble your team. Now, let's zoom in on this really quickly because I wanna look at this and compare it to Clash Royale. Notice that our minis or our cards right here, they have different levels. I see a level 11, a level 13, a level 12 and a level 10. We don't know what max level is right now, but we can assume that level 13 may be getting close. I know in Clash Royale, level 14 is the maximum level for your cards. So not 100% sure what max level will be for minis right here in Arclight Rumble, but we do know that there is a progression system to upgrade them. In Clash Royale, it's gold. In this game, well, maybe it's also gold. I'm not sure yet. Assemble your team, collect over 65 Warcraft minis and build multiple armies. Good strategy is the key to victory. And that's going to bring us right into the different game modes that this game has to offer because as of right now, there are four different modes. Now, I was mentioning four different game modes earlier, but this is actually four different breakdowns of a game mode. So let's clear that up right now. So first things first, getting into gear. This is how we're going to be starting and how your gold is actually spent inside of the game. If you notice from the bottom of the gameplay screen that there are those little modules on the bottom that keep lighting up in gold color. You'll also notice that the minis or the cards are all different costs. You'll see a three, a two, a four. That's how much gold it costs to deploy that actual unit onto the playing board. Let's read what they have to say right here. Gather resources and deploy minis. Use gold reserves to deploy your minis strategically on the battlefield. Gain additional gold passively over time by mining or finding treasure chests. So you're gonna always have that gold progressively gaining in your lower bar. You can get it from mining or from finding treasure chests. So there's multiple different ways for you to accumulate the gold and the more gold you accumulate, the more minis you could drop on the board. Now that we understand how to actually drop or play our minis, let's talk about capturing and what it actually takes to dominate the battlefield. Capture objectives like guard towers and meeting stones, then use them to deploy your minis closer to the objective. Control of the map is key to victory. So what we're seeing right now is even more depth 
than we're used to seeing in games that are similar to this. Again, I'll use the example Clash Royale. It seems like there's a lot more going on here, which is going to require a lot more strategy and maybe even a lot more thinking, higher level gameplay, which is actually really exciting for me. Next, we're going to be talking about synergizing on the battlefield. Synergize the situation. Different mini abilities give you an advantage in combat. Flying troops are strong against melee troops. Siege troops deal additional damage to guard towers and so on. Master your mini's abilities to succeed and learn talents to make them even more powerful. So we're gonna need to get to know the actual minis. And with 65 of them available to us, obviously some of them unlocking over time, it's gonna be something that is a big learning curve. We're gonna need to know what does well against what, what defeats what, what's strong against what, and what is weak against what. You get what I'm saying here. There's gonna be time invested into this game so you could build solid decks that are balanced and gonna be doing well and have advantages over other potential decks that you'll encounter. And finally, conquer, or if you want to win the battle, because at the end of the day, PvP, PvE, we want to be victorious. Defeat the enemy boss. Your minis will march towards enemy leaders and attempt to take them down. Support your deployed troops with powerful spells and direct them to victory. So it's confirmed right now. There's also not only going to be minis, but also spells that'll be used as support for the minis that you drop on the board. Now we have our pocket sized leaders. These are basically the different classes of minis that you could play in the game. Alliance leaders are going to support defense, healing, and stealth tactics, as well as heavy use of spell. Next, we have the Horde. Horde leaders encourage building momentum through earning additional gold, fast attacking troops, and enemy control with area of effect stuns. Now the beasts. Beast leaders can disable enemy defenses, helping your numerous bestial alloys stampede and overwhelm them quickly. Others are right at home with a flurry of fast troops swarming other enemies. Black rock leaders reward you for playing heavy hitting flying troops and searing elemental magic users to burn opponents to a crisp. And finally, the Undead class. Undead leaders use powerful necromancy on the battlefield. As Blood Mage uses spells, he grows stronger with every cast. Baron Rivendare can summon endless armies of the dead to haunt the battlefield. Now let's talk about game progression, how you actually level up your minis. Whether you're powering up your minis, unlocking new ways to play, or just on a quest to build a perfect army, there's always a reason for one more round, Warcraft arc light rumble it means you're always going to want to keep playing it's got that addictiveness which i've talked about on this channel it's important especially in mobile gaming so as we mentioned before there's going to be 65 unique minis including leaders and spells that's a mixture of both each mini has unique abilities you'll use to conquer enemy troops mix and match minis to form your strategy so it sounds like to me you're going to have like heroes troops and spells because they mentioned the word leaders it kind of sounds like heroes exciting stuff and offers a lot of variety with your deck building now you could level up your army as well and it's saying here after each battle you'll gain experience and level up your minis level up to unlock the ability to use game changing talents so they're obviously going to have skills that unlock over time what we can hope for is that this progression is not just overly grindy to do. It needs to really, it needs to fit perfectly in where it's grindy enough where it keeps you playing, but not too much where it's either going to be massively pay to win or it's just gonna take you a lifetime to get to these max level minis because that can just be overwhelming and it can make people quit the game. And finally, unlocking new challenges. Multiple modes include conquest, dungeons, raids, co-op, and PVP. Replay maps with new combinations of leaders and minis for additional rewards. So there is a bit of replayability here, which I love to hear. And it looks like from the last time that we looked at this website, which was probably 10 months ago, some things have changed. There has been additions here. More minis have been added and progression is happening, which is really good and a good sign that development is on track and that we'll hopefully be seeing this game soon. And if we do, I hope to get my hands on it as one of the first people. Fingers crossed. Now it says to stay connected, of course, their social promotion. I choose to stay connected here over on Twitter. If any of you guys want to follow me, you can check me out over on Twitter as well at Echo Through Me. And it's worth noting that all of this is going to be through your Battle.net ID. That's how you're going to pre-register. That's how your account is going to be bound to the game as well. And that's probably how you're going to be able to engage in any microtransactions within the game. So make sure you have your Battle.net ID ready to go for when you're ready to play this game. 
but I hope you enjoyed the video, learned something about Warcraft Arclight Rumble, and are as excited about playing this game as I am. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'll be covering this game when it drops right here on this channel.